what's going on? It's Nick from Magnetic Sponsoring back here again with you. And in this video, I wanted to show you three plugins that I use all the time on every single website or blog that I create. And these are plugins that I know you're going to love and probably start using right after this video. And I hope you do. So the first one is the Grow Map Anti Spam Bot. So this is the plugin that I showed you earlier in the other video um, right here that Ray has on his blog. So basically what this is going to do is prevent spam bots from commenting and auto commenting on your blog because it's going to require an actual person to check mark that before they submit the comment. You can see up here I submitted my comment. So back over there. Uh, it's called Grow Map Anti Spam Bot. So you're going to want to type that in when you install your plugins. And it's pretty simple right here. Another cool thing that I see people doing with this is actually changing this text, though. So you can change that to something like um, get notified next time someone comments on this post, uh, something like that. And basically, it just seems a little bit less invasive. So when people are checking that little box, it's like, oh, okay, cool, I'm going to get notified instead of confirm you're not a spammer. And that's fine to keep that too. I always keep it anyways, but I've been seeing that new trend of being a little bit less invasive, a little bit less aggressive, I guess you could say. So that's the Grow Map Anti Spam Bot plugin. The next one I wanted to show you was the Link Checker. Now, this is really simple and straightforward. All you got to really do is actually download it. And it's the broken link checker. And what this does is if we go back, you'll see down here at the bottom, let's go back again, that I have this little little box down here that says no broken links found. That's really good. And uh, no URLs that are in work queue. So basically what this does is now we're posting every single day on our blog or website, or at least hopefully we are because that's what we were taught in Ray's webinar, so we'd better at least start posting three times a week. So what this does is checks our whole website for links. Now sometimes when we're typing in links, we uh, type it in wrong. So what this does is shows us what link is broken, basically what is sending people to a 404 page, which is something we don't want to do. And uh, it basically makes it really easy for you to go follow that link and go fix it. So the last one that I want to show you, and I want to spend a little bit more time on this one, is the share bar. Now, what the share bar is, is over here on my blog, you can see this little bar over here that will follow the browser as you scroll down. Now, I have this thing all optimized, so everything shows up and it's all lined up. And also, one more thing, you're going to see when I shrink my screen here, that it's going to do something. Now, when I shrink it, as soon as it's just about to pass, that little barrier right there, it pops up to the top. Now this works on everything from every, any kind of browser size to the iPhone and the iPad so that if the screen will not hold the share bar, it won't get cut off, it'll actually pop up up here. And I'll show you right now how I did that. So back over here in the settings, we'll go to the share bar. And in here, you'll see that I have it set for the minimum width and pixels required to show the vertical share bar to the left is set to 1224 and that's the tested size and that's how I actually have all my share bars set up so that it will go to the horizontal share bar if the browser size is too small. Also I'd set the share bar width to 70 that way, that way the Facebook like button will show up in there and it won't be cut off because you'll see when you first install it it'll have the like button in there but it'll be cut off a little bit so that's what I got for you today if you liked this and found this video useful please leave me a comment below and tomorrow I'm gonna to show you a couple more strategies on the topic of blogging talk to you soon